Hello there, I will show you how you can use uh, the add-on Outerig Pro to export a custom mesh from Blender into Unreal Engine 5 so you can just change the mesh without any retargeting and it works right away. This is not an affiliate video, I just bought the add-on myself and I really liked it uh, therefore I would like to recommend it. And there are two other videos, at least two other videos out there. One is from Uisco and one is from Woody Devs. Um, I watched them both and I just couldn't get it working. So uh, I tried to figure out why that was and it turned out to be two parameters that needed to be adapted. Because I think the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin, um, you know, the skeletal hierarchy changed, so that needs to be taken into account. Okay, let's start. Okay, uh, before you can start, make sure that you have downloaded and installed the add-on. I think you can do this yourself. Make sure that it's active here in the side panel. And you will also need your custom mesh that you want to export or your character. In this case, I used uh, Mixamo Amy and changed it a bit so we had this uh, little boy here. And um, now I want to export this guy here. Also, I made a light setup, but except this uh, in the whole scene, there only is this model. And um, yeah, let's start right away. Uh, you have to go to the rig area here and you have to select the character. Then you need to hit Get Selected Objects, Full Body, and hit OK. And um, and now you can add the markers so the add-on can work properly. I recommend to use uh, the Solid View mode because it's a bit cleaner. Yeah, so let's add the markers. One for the neck, one for the chin, one for the shoulders, one for the wrists, spine root. Make sure that you don't use the uh, very bottom here, but somewhere like here. Also, we need to add the ankles. Yeah, that's it. And uh, now we are all ready are at the, I think, most important part of this video. Because um, I, when I use the default settings, uh, everything is default here, except spine count. This needs to be 6, neck count needs to be 2, twist count needs to be 2. Uh, I think that is because the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin hierarchy changed a bit. I'm not 100% sure about this, but this worked um, without any extra uh, pop-ups or errors or whatever, um, this will just match 100% uh, with the mannequin. There might be some distortions around the shoulders. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I think for prototyping this is absolutely great. Okay, um, now we have um, assigned these uh, areas here and now we just hit go. Okay. And now we hit match to rig. Also, we need to make sure that this uh, rig uh, is also applied to the to the mesh. We need to bind it to the mesh because right now it's not working. Go to skin and hit oh, select both. Select the mesh, then shift left click, select the rig and hit bind. Okay, now it should be working already. Make sure that you go to the post mode and then you can play around and yeah, it's already rigged and we can export it to Unreal. Um, to do this, we need to make sure that we are in object mode again and we select what we want to export. Go to File, Export, Auto Rig Pro FBX and select um, yeah, the destination folder. Um, I call this guy hero.fbx and uh, these settings are also very important. It needs to be Unreal Engine Humanoid and um, everything can stay as is except these three check marks. You need to hit um, the check marks for Rename for UE, Mannequin Access and Add IK Bonds. And I also strongly recommend um, here under Miscellaneous that you select the Face Smoothing mode because otherwise Unreal Engine would um, pop up with a import message. It would not be a problem but it's just a little annoying. Okay, now that we've selected this, hit export. Again, it can take some seconds. In this case, uh, this guy here has 20k vertices, which is kind of low poly, also, um, which is, yeah, kind of low poly, therefore it's quite quick. And uh, yeah, we've, we're done in Blender. We can now uh, hop over to Unreal Engine and um, continue with the importing process. All right, now we are in Unreal Engine 5. This is version 5.03. I also tried it with 5.02. Both were working fine. 
This is a third person template project. We can just uh, hop over to this third person character. The, the default model here is uh, Quinn, I think. Yeah, SKM Quinn. And if we start it, we are just able to walk around. Everything works as planned. We can jump and move. And what we intend to do is to exchange this model and without any retargeting. That's very important. So therefore, uh, we create a new import folder here. I call it Hero. And I navigate to my mesh, which is called hero.fpx. I just open it. Um, yeah, and this is also very important. Make sure that you select the SK mannequin and not the one where the path name um, contains something with underscore UE4. We want to make sure that we use the UE5 skeleton. So this one and everything else can stay as is. And if our export settings in Blender were correct, it should now work without any messages, any errors. Um, yeah, so let's see. It can take some seconds depending on how complex your model is. Okay, he's preparing some shaders. Ah, oh, and also I had this filter uh, filter button on, so yeah, there it is. Uh, looks quite promising. Okay, and if everything was done correctly, we can just go to our third person character and search for hero. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, and uh, that's what I meant with the shoulder area. You can see it's a bit um, distorted here. Uh, maybe it's because of um, yeah, of the form of the model, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's working, no retargeting required, and also you can change uh, the skeletal mesh to any different mesh on runtime, also uh, this would work for a modular system, and it's uh, super easy because you can iterate on this uh, model in Blender. You can uh, import a new mesh uh, in like 90 seconds or 60 seconds per iteration, which is I think a really great approach, especially for prototyping. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope it helped. If so, feel free to leave me a like or a subscribe and I would be happy to make more helpful videos in the future. Thank you very much, take care and see you next time.